bitten by a vaccinated dog, you might think you're completely safe. But as per WHO rabies exposure guidelines, the truth is more complicated. Let's start with the basics. CDC rabies pet vaccination guide says rabies vaccines in dogs are over 99% effective when given on time. But effectiveness doesn't mean zero risk after a bite. We need to take certain steps to measure the risk of a dog bite. Step 1. Confirm the dog's vaccination. Was the vaccine given at least 14 days before the bite? Is there a vet certificate? As per WHO expert consultation on rabies, third report only then is the immunity reliable. Step 2. Understand the bite type. A nibble or lick on unbroken skin is Category 1, usually safe. But a bite that breaks the skin or bleeds is Category 3 and always serious. Even if the dog was vaccinated, as per WHO rabies exposure categories. Step 3. Watch for signs of an unhealthy dog. According to the WHO Manual on Animal Rabies Surveillance, you should look out for 1. There is sudden aggression or biting behavior in the dog, or 2. Is the dog drooling or foaming excessively? 3. Dog is finding difficulty in swallowing or getting seizures or staggering. 4. Unusual barking or refusal to eat or drink. If you see any of these signs, seek medical attention immediately. As per the CDC rabies medical guidelines, a dog that remains healthy for 10 days after a bite cannot transmit rabies. But if the dog disappears, falls sick, or dies, start PEP right away. Is rabies contagious in humans? This is one of the most asked questions, and here's the answer. As per the WHO rabies fact sheet, rabies is not contagious between people through touch, sharing food, or air. However, the CDC MMWR report confirms rare cases of human-to-human -human transmission through organ or cornea transplants. But casual contact is safe. What if the dog is a stray? As per the WHO post-exposure treatment guidelines, if you can't confirm the dog's health or observe it, start vaccination immediately. What if you were already vaccinated? You only need two booster shots, no immunoglobulin. If this video helped, share it now. It could save someone's life. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for real, research-backed health advice.